um, where you said, you know, we are regulating each other's nervous systems. And I will never forget that. And, you know, I imagine that you married your husband for a number of different reasons, but um, when people pair up with romantic partners, with friends, with coworkers, the ideal situation is one in which we are not taxed, where maybe even people and just being around them or just knowing that they are in our lives provides a sort of deposit to... Yeah, it's a savings. It provides it's a savings, savings, for sure. Yeah. And mean, then I think that's a lot of what emotional resonance, to put yeah. kind of pop language on it, yeah. is, is all about. Who, yeah. who feels good to be around, who doesn't feel good yeah. to be around. There are many species of animals that influence each other's nervous systems, that regulate each other's nervous systems. And they mainly do it by physical means. They do it by chemicals, scent, they do it by, you know, so so termites and ants and bees, for example, use chemical scents. Mammals like um, like rodents use scent, and they also use uh, hearing, audition, and that little bit of vision. Um, primates, you know, non-human primates add vision, right? Um, and um, I think everybody uses touch. Humans, as far as I know, are the only species that use ideas and words yeah, to pleasure. regulate each other, right? I can text something to someone halfway around the world. That's fascinating. They don't have to hear my voice. Yeah. They don't have to see my face. And I can have an effect on their nervous system. And ideas, the ideas that we communicate with words, I mean, words are, in a sense, a way for us to do mental telepathy with mm -hmm. each other, right? I mean, I'm not the first person to say that, obviously. But how do I control your heart rate? How do I control your breathing? How do I control your actions with words? It's because those words are communicating ideas.